Welcome to Dynamic Forms for Jira Data Center and Server. This app enables extending Jira fields possibilities to reduce long forms and ask users only the relevant questions. In this Get Started tutorial, we'll guide you through the Dynamic Forms key features so that you can make the best use of them. The Dynamic Forms app provides teams with additional custom field types for Jira. Custom fields are responsible for specific features in Dynamic Forms, so there are dedicated custom fields for Dynamic Tabs, Mapper, Bundle fields, and other functionalities. In order to add them to your issue screen, go to Jira Administration panel and choose the Issue tab. On the left side of the screen, find Custom Fields and then click on the Add Custom Field button. At this point, you are able to choose your new fields from the list and configure them to match your project's requirements. Now, select Issue Types and the project where the new fields should be applied. Click Create. Dynamic Forms configuration enables creating conditions upon which a field should be displayed after selecting an option in the previous field. The feature allows making Jira Forms specific and transparent for your team members. It minimizes the risk of errors and supports finding all the necessary information for the employees at a glance. Start Dynamic Forms functionality configuration by going to Jira Administration and selecting the Manage App section. Choose Dynamic Forms and click on the plus sign to add a custom field to the configuration. Here, we're choosing the Tool custom field. The next thing we need to do is set up options and related fields and decide whether these custom fields will be required or not in specific issue types. On the left side, we have the list of other custom fields that we have already adjusted, for example target audience, which can come in handy when we're organizing some marketing work. In the options, we can choose partners as our target group and then in related fields, in this case we select related Atlassian partners. Let's take the campaign time as the third example. After choosing webinar marketing, in the related fields we can choose presenter, target audience, webinar date and tools, so just the fields that will make our webinar marketing tickets complete. After configuration, you will have your dynamic forms ready to use. Now, just create an issue fill in the summary and simply choose the issue type accordingly. After you do this, you will see only the context-related fields to complete. Thanks to Dynamic Forms, you'll be able to reduce the time spent by your team members on completing organizational tasks and gain more hours to take care of more demanding cases. Here you can see what your newly created issue will look like in the end. The Dynamic Tabs feature enables creating dependencies and displays or hide screen tabs based on select value. Thanks to this, you'll be able to migrate regular Jira custom fields to dynamic ones and gather them into tabs. We set up dynamic tabs in the Dynamic Tabs configuration section. First, select a field to configure from the drop-down list. In this example, we have tabs visibility control. Next, all you have to do is indicate the tabs you wish to display by choosing the linked select field. In this case, we have promotional materials. In the Options section, you set up tabs that will appear after selecting a specific option. When we have our Dynamic tab configured, we can add it to a task. As you can see on the screen, if you mark Promotional Material whilst creating an issue, the Adequate tab appears on the upper bar. After clearing the box next to the section, the tab disappears. Click on the tab. The form displays only the fields that are needed to complete the request. Thanks to this, Dynamic Tabs prevents information loss and helps make sure that the team members will always get thorough tickets and won't have to ask additional questions to clarify. Click Create. Now, let's move on to Bundled Fields functionality in Dynamic Forms. It enables gathering all related information in one custom field and thus reduce the number of unnecessary fields displayed on Jira Forms. Adjust your Bundled Fields in the Bundled Fields configuration. Choose a bundle to configure. First, we are going to set up subfields. Name your subfield, choose its type and make sure the required and show label toggle buttons are switched properly. Do the same for all of the following subfields. You can also choose their options like it's shown here in the example of the size section. By clicking the three dots next to the toggles button, you can also choose the format and validation options. There are settings like field formatting type, locale and format. After adding them, we can go to the Layout tab. Here you can select what your future bundles will look like. Choose between the table or custom. 
In the second case, arrange your fields and labels to match your project's needs. Finally, in the settings section, decide how many groups you want to have in your forms. When you're done, don't forget to save your changes. Let's see what a newly created bundle field will look like on the issue screen. We'll check it out using the promotional material example that we already know. Write down the summary of your issue, mark the promotional material box and go to the tab that appeared on the upper bar. You can recognize a bundle field in the specification section. Now you're able to add groups and fill them in with the context-related data. In this case, we have the quantity, sizes and prices of some products. After you're done, click Create. Your issue is now updated with bundled fields. Here's what the final effect looked like for the end user. Thanks to the Dynamic Forms Mapper functionality, it's possible to map one custom field's options to values in another mapper custom field. The feature also enables us to map mapper fields with values like groups, users or projects. This supports automation of completing Jira issue fields and by this improves the working time efficiency of your employees. The configuration of Mapper consists of three steps. First, go to the Mapper configuration panel. Add a new field to configure, connect linked fields to it and choose the mapping value type from the list. Here we choose users. As a result, mapped values will display only users' names that we can now map with the content of a previously chosen linked field. The next two steps work only for a POST function that maps the assignee field based on users defined in the mapper. The first thing you need to do is set up workflows and transitions. Go to the Workflows panel and click on Add Transitions. It will make it possible to add the Use Mapper button that we will be using later to your Jira issue screen. Fill in the required information, save changes and go to POST function settings. This section describes what will happen after the transition occurs. Add a new POST function to your transition by choosing the one previously set up in configuration from the list. Then add the required parameters to the function. Now you can see your new POST function amongst others. Remember to publish the workflow after you've finished setting it up. It's time to verify how the mapper works. Let's create a new issue, fill in the summary and go straight to the Mapper and Secured Fields tab settings. A minute ago, during the configuration, we selected Divinity Server Apps as a linked field. One of its objects was Dynamic Forms, which we are going to use in this example. Click Create. For now, we can only see the map data after switching to Mapper and Secured Fields. In order to use the optional POST function and map a user to SINE, click the User Mapper button. As you can see, now the values from the user mapping value type are mapped to the SIND field. We hope that we succeeded in proving to you that Dynamic Forms for Jira Data Center and Server is designed to help teams always get comprehensive tickets thanks to shorter and more specific forms. If you have any more questions regarding our application, feel free to contact our support team. Thank you for watching and enjoy working with Dynamic Forms for Jira.